What's up guys, Sim Saladu here. Just uh, playing around the engine some more. Figured I'd show you what uh, I've been able to accomplish with my character model lately. So, I've been working on the ragdoll, which is like the physics for all the bones. So now I can simulate uh, the physics and animation all, all together at once, like this. <laughs> so yeah, he's, he's set up, all the bones have proper constraints and stuff, and uh, it's really fun whenever you do the uh, zero gravity. It becomes a lot of fun. You could just sit here, just play around with this for a long time. <laughs> So this will be definitely used in the movement somehow, um, but that, of course that's way on down the pipeline. But uh, anyways, just figured this would be kind of cool to show off. He even got his uh, his jaw even has some physics on there. So if you uh, bump his head, usually it'll knock him enough, and he'll open his jaw. It looks like he's like you know screaming in pain. So it takes care of a lot of the animations for you. But um, this will definitely be used. Ah, I lost him. So yeah, this would be the normal, normal type of physics. Oh, holy crap. A couple of glitches there. Uh, so even his fingers are animated. Um, the toes are not individually, they are as a, a group. Because nobody really uses their toes individually, but uh, the hands do all completely, if you can see them moving now, they all have their own physics going on as well. Uh, the constraints are a little weird to work with, but I think it does a pretty good job for the most part. Glitch every now and then is okay, I think. But uh, he's looking good, he's doing pretty well. Legs are standing up the right way. <laughs> it just falls over. Oh, can't pick him up. Anyways, take care, guys.